may pips be upon you. I'm looking at New Zealand dollar pound, uh, uh, New Zealand, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen on the four hour. All right. Why am I here? One, because if you go to the weekly, I marked in red 76, five, five, zero, zero. This level is one of those whole numbers I like. And you see the most recent activity at this level here where it was tested as support broken and then tested as uh, resistance. You can see it's been happening. There's a lot of interaction at this, uh, at this level and I like it. I like it here. Why? Because if you go to the daily, you can see that price has broken down very bearishly. All right. But it looks like it might be a retracement. All right. It looks like it might be in correction mode after soaring up this way. All right. I've marked a daily demand zone, which price hit. Price hit this demand zone, reacted accordingly and sprung up. All right. The last time pr price was in this uh, uh, demand zone, it ended up up here. So I'm looking for something similar here. I would be targeting these uh, these highs here. What encourages me is that price has, if you look on the the uh, four hour, you'll see that price broke below that 76.50, then back above it, showing strength. See the impulse, all right? And now uh, it's testing this area, this zone as support, all right? Will it find support? Well, we're about to find out, won't we? All right, I want you to also see that if you put your Fibonacci's on this, you'll see that right at this zone, this zone here is the 78, uh, 382 Fibonacci retracement level, all right? This is right around 76.45, all right? And uh, well within the zone, we could see a spike from here, if, I, if price does find support, we see a spike from here and then a move to the upside. Let's take a closer look to the one hour and see what we see, how price is moving down. This, this, this candle closes in about 25 minutes and it could very well spike up from here. This is the door of the, uh, what I call the door of the uh, 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 demand zone. And the middle is the part that once it, once it reaches here, you'll see we have the 50 EMA there as a confluence of support at this, the, the EMA acting as dynamic support. Uh, if the price does reach down in here, I, it'd be reasonable to expect a nice spring to the upside. All right, that's what I'm hoping. All right, uh, and that that would represent a very good risk to reward ratio if you have your stop loss below the uh, the level and uh, uh, you know wait until you see uh, a bullish uh, engulfer or a, a momentum candle from these levels all right this zone okay so you want to look carefully. Look on the lower time frames like the one hour and see if we get a nice formation that the 30 minute can be revealing as well. We, we have this initial uh, rejection here, all right, at the door, all right, and, uh, uh, but I'm thinking it may just go a little bit deeper. So we're gonna see, we are going to see, all right, wait for a confirmation and uh, good luck. Good luck trading it, okay? See how it goes.